Activate surface scanner. Okay, Commander. Launch probe. Launching now. Scanning area for deposits. <sighs> Alright. Nice. Looks like there's something interesting. Really? Exit surface scanner. No problem. Let's go mining. I'm going to run through fire groups. Fire groups. Now, fire groups is where you set up your primary and secondary fire button for the different functionality that you can have on board. Now, that could be mining lasers, it could be firing your combat lasers, it could be your missiles, anything like that. But there are so many of these things in Elite Dangerous for the different roles that you might play. So I've kitted this ship out for mining. But for new players, if you have a look at this panel carefully, down the bottom right, it's got number one primary fire and number two secondary fire. One red, one blue. And then if you look down the columns, you can see that I've allocated the collector limpets on my primary fire button. So when I press my primary fire button with fire group A selected, it will fire off my collector limpets, all three of them. Similarly, in column C, I've got my mining lasers, three of those, also set up to be fired all at once using the primary fire button. And then my secondary fire button back in fire group A, that will send out a prospector limpet. Now, switching between fire groups is very easy. You just say fire group A, fire group B, or fire group C, and it will switch between them for you. The problem is you don't want to have to keep doing that while you're mining because you may have prospector limpets in one fire group and you may have, like I've got set up, mining lasers in another. And what you don't want to do is have to keep stopping and changing fire groups. So what we've done for the process of mining to make that experience much neater is allow you to automatically switch between the fire groups with just one voice command. So if you say launch prospector limpet and then you say start mining, what will happen is it will switch between those fire groups automatically. Deploy prospect to limpet. Affirmative. Stand by. Deploying. Locking onto target. I'm so efficient. Begin mining. Yes, Commander. Deploy collector limpet. Acknowledge, Commander. You're kidding. I'm now going to show you how this is set up in the voice pack options. Protocol override, customize my settings. One moment. Open. Once we've got the customizer open, we need to tell voice attack where everything is. So keyboard control first for the scanners and my discovery scanner, which is on my primary fire button, is in fire group B. So let's switch to primary fire for discovery scanner. And that's because everything is defaulted to secondary fire in here. So we have to tell it if it's on the primary fire button in the fire group. Second, we need to change the detailed surface scanner to fire group B. I've also got that, but that's on my secondary fire button. So I don't need to tick the box there. And finally, C for my mining lasers. And they are on my primary fire button. We need to apply the settings here to save them. And now we can go up to limpet control and do the same. So once again, don't forget, everything is defaulted to secondary fire. So if it's on primary fire in your fire group, just tick the boxes here. Now, let's get the primary fire for the collector over to fire group A. And we can switch to primary fire for that one. and switch to primary fire for the prospector does not need to be ticked because it's on secondary fire. Duh. Apply those two, save the changes, and we're all done. And now it'll work just like in the demo you saw. Fabulous.